What's up guys, it's Gio, and welcome back to another Pokemon Showdown uh, replay I have versus Queen of Love Discs. This is a shorter match and I knew that uh, actually I actually had quite a while ago, back when I was still rocking this normal spam team. Um, it is an Oras battle though, so that's pretty neat. Um, anyway, live should be up on Friday and I should have my other LBA battle up tomorrow. That's kind of the plan for the rest of the week. Just wanted to put that in the beginning of the video so you guys would get that because... Um, now that I've done a couple of these replays, I'm actually really looking forward to returning the lives, which I think is a good thing, because getting a little bit more motivation behind them will be very good. Um, but anyway, let's break down the battle. So, looking at my team real quick, I'm on the far side, if you guys didn't know. I'm using this normal spam team, which I think I've used in a live before, but it's been a mighty long time. Um, I have Silk Scarf, Adamant, Kangaskhan. I have Adamant, Toxic Boost, Facade, Zangoose. I have Jolly, uh... T Toxic Orb or Flame Orb? I can't remember. I think it's Toxic Orb. Swellow. I have Focus Sash, Lead Archaeops, Scarf Golurk, and uh, Life Orb, Mixed Attacking Cacturn to break stall. And looking at Queen's team, he has Silk Scarf, Kangaskhan, Sub CM, Yuxi, SD Gator, uh, Mega Camera Up, Scarf. Scarf Rotom Fan and Double Dance Rhydon. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. He ends up bleeding with Rotom Fan as I end up bleeding with Archaeops. And I know that if he's defensive, I have a chance to kill him with Head Smash. But if he's Scarf, I may not get my Rocks up. So if, like, if I attack him, I won't get my Rocks up if he's Scarf. So I just opt to go straight away for the Stealth Rocks as he Bolt Switches out Nikanga and knocks me out with Fake Out. Which, you know, is fine. Takes the early 6-5 lead. And I'm just going to go out into my own Kangaskhan, hit him with a fake out, doing an, a nice 27%, getting off some crucial damage early game. So he goes out into Rhydon to take this double edge, which is a very good play on his part. And this is a part in the battle where he gets a little unlucky, um, because what's going to happen is he's going to rock polish right here. And I'm going to go for the sucker to get off some damage, and he's going to go ahead and miss the stone edge. Now, let me just go ahead and pause it real quick, because there's an alternative scenario to the, to how this could have played out. Um, had he just killed me with the Stone Edge right there, I would have gone to Golurk, and I could have taken any one hit and knocked him out with an Earthquake from that range. So, And I'm not actually sure he would have outsped Scarf Golurk. I think he would have, depending on if he's adamant or jolly. But while it's unfortunate, I don't think it turn the battle around I don't think it decided it it made it a lot closer for me and uh, didn't exactly force me to make a lot of plays in this battle uh, because I'm just gonna go ahead and click sucker again and uh, he's gonna knock me out with the stone edge but anyway I'm gonna go out into my Kangaskhan here because I know I can capitalize off of this situation the best I can hit him with a fake out and right here I know he's gonna be anticipating the sucker punch because um, I do think he knows my spread so he's gonna go for the SD as I just did I'm hitting him with an EQ I knew that if I took more damage, it was okay, but wasn't necessarily preferable for me. So he goes into his Uxie, which is super annoying, super fat, ends up going for the CM right here as I hit him with a double edge, doing a ton of damage. And right here, um, it was a 50-50 whether he was going to set up a sub as I go for the Sucker Punch or whether he was going to go for the Psy Shock. And I... And at this point, uh, depending on how much investment he's running, I'm not sure if Psyshock can kill me. It depends on if whether he's fast offensive CM or if he's a sub CM. So I opt to go straight for the Sucker Punch and end up getting that Sucker Punch 50-50 right, knocking out Yuxi, so that's very good for me. So he ends up going out in his Kangaskhan, and I do know Kanga has Scrappy, by the way. Um, I'm just going to go out into my Golurk to take this because I don't want Kanga taking any extra damage. He's going to hit me with the Sucker, but I know I live it 100% of the time, and I can just go straight away for the EQ and finish off Kangaskhan, which works out well for me. He gets to go out into his Rotom Fan, and I'm just going to sack my Golurk because it doesn't do much more for me throughout the rest of the battle. And right here, I make probably the biggest misplay of the match that I could have made because he's going to go for the Air Slash, which is fine. Um, I'm just going to go for the Facade. And the reason this is a misplay is because I should have clicked Quick Attack. I have it, but I didn't click it, um, which was unfortunate. So he just knocks me out. But, you know, it's fine because I don't... The only thing that saves me is Gator not taking Aqua Jet. Or uh, is Kanga not taking potential Aqua Jet, Aqua Jet damage? Um, 
but it, it probably would have played out the same, because I don't think I would have knocked him out from that range with a quick attack anyway, but catching up to the battle, I hit him with a double edge, and uh, he goes for the waterfall. He's actually in torrent range, but now I have adamant, um, adamant thing, adamant Zangus. End up knocking him out with a quick attack, getting my toxic orb, and uh, let me explain this play right here for just a second. So... He's mega camera up. I don't know how much bulk he is running, but I do know that if he... Actually, why am I pausing this? It's better to just explain it after. Okay, so he ends up mega evolving as I end up going for the facade and getting the crit, picking up the 1-0 win. Um, but let me read you guys off this calc right here because it's actually posted in chat. Um, 252 plus attack, toxic boost, Zangus facade, uh, versus 252 HP, zero defense, uh, mega camera up, is 100 to 118 percent. So, if he was running a lot of defense investment, he could have avoided the kill, uh, because I only needed to do 88 percent, but he would have been having to run, he would have had to run a lot of defense investment to avoid the, uh, Oko, even factoring in the quit. The quit. Who am I? Shake it up. The crit. <laughs> anyway, um, so and I'm knocking him out there. So very good game, Queen. Um, this is actually a really old match. This was December 18th, 2014. Throwback. Anyway, so if you guys didn't enjoy today's Pokemon Showdown replay, please make sure to leave a like, as it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video, which is um, what it. You know, I, I try not to make these Pokemon related a lot, but I'm just going to go ahead and make this one Pokemon related. Um, what is your guys' thoughts on Oras and you? I actually haven't played a whole lot of it recently. Um, I played a lot of it in January, but it just kind of fell off the face of the earth. So I started to play a lot more UU you, and OU. Uh, those kind of caught my eye. But anyway, what are you guys' thoughts on that? And with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that... I'll catch you on the flip-flop.